So, um, interestingly enough, um, February 28th has just passed, was the anniversary of when I first sat down with Herb Carnegie and conducted my interview with him. And just from the research and everything I learned, it was just incredible to me that this man had so much accolades and never had an opportunity to play in the National Hockey League. And I remember when Bernice Carnegie said to me, would you like to meet that? I was just, I had goosebumps. I was just like, yes, I, I would right away. And, you know, again, like this interview that you're seeing right now, that is the very first time I picked up a camera um, crew and, and, and put this down. Like literally it was, you know, it was uh, the catalyst for me. And meeting him was beautiful because here's a man that was 92 years old or 92 years young at that time. And he had dementia and he was blind. Um, so his faculties weren't always there. The reason why you see me sitting beside him is because he couldn't hear me across from him. So I had to sit beside him and, 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 and speak really closely into his ear to ask him his questions and it was very interesting like you know he didn't really remember too much of his growing up but when you talked about hockey he just was there he was sharp as a glove and it was just beautiful to know that that memory was still within him and he still had that love and it was also just sad to know that you know he never got an opportunity to play in the national hockey league i always say that if he had that opportunity to play in the National Hockey League, hockey would have been a lot different than what we see it is today because of, you know, the fact that he was such a prolific player and goal scorer. He would have done great things in the National Hockey League. But it's it's great to know that regardless of all those struggles, he was still able to go about and make a difference in our community with the Future Aces Foundation and the Future Aces Creed and um, inspiring young kids and I'm just I'm so happy that I had his very I have his very last interview um, tucked away and, and and able to share it with with the world and so that they can learn a little bit more about this great man.